So for the three people in the world who haven't seen a Bella Porch TikTok or know who this girl is, well, I mean, I just told you her name is Bella Porch. I mean, weren't you listening? You may have seen her around on social media, but if you're over the age of 21 and are a regular functioning member of society, well, I mean, chances are you probably still know who she is. Looking back at July 2020, she was at about 100,000 TikTok followers, which is cool, right? I mean, she's a 19-year-old girl, and I'd consider that pretty famous and pretty accomplished at 19. I mean, look, look back at yourself. What were you doing at 19? Still going to class and doing homework? Pfft, get real. What? So anyway, she's jumped from 100,000 followers to now 40 million followers on TikTok Bruh. as of the time of making this video. And I mean, that's like, that's like a lot, I think. Taking a look at her daily follower count tracker, she now averages 100,000 followers a day at the bare minimum. Bella Porch is currently 11th on the overall TikTok followers rankings and will honestly probably hit number one within a few weeks or maybe months. What's crazy about this whole situation is her ability to use TikTok to leverage other social media platforms like Twitter and Instagram and even YouTube where she has posted, let me count here, let's see, one, two, th oh yeah, zero videos on YouTube so far Bruh. with 168,000 subscribers already, bro, I'm out, I'm out, I hate to complain, well, Actually, I, I do love to complain, so I will. But come on, bro, 168,000 followers on YouTube where people grind their butts off every day, maybe every week to make entertaining tutorial videos. There's high quality animations. There's high skill gaming videos. Even makeup videos take more skill than what she's done on social media so far. Now, me personally, I'm not as big into TikTok or Instagram, so I don't mind the success there. But as a YouTuber for over two years, this is just a slap in the face, man. So now that we've taken a look at her stats and talents, quote unquote, on social media, particularly on TikTok, I want to get into what I've discovered about her as a person. But before I do, I just want to encourage you guys to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and to leave a like, okay? This video takes way more effort than Bella puts into each TikTok, and I'm hoping for like rational human beings who are watching this video who enjoy laughing and hopefully want to see more content like this. And also before I start, I just want to preface, I don't hate Bella Porch. I don't hate many TikTokers at all. And honestly, I'll probably get some comments bashing me for being jealous or upset or whatever. And guess what? Whether I'm jealous or not has zero impact on how you, the commenter, will live the rest of your day. So why bother telling me if I'm jealous or upset about a 19 year old who moves her head to a catchy tune and uploads it for internet pervs attention. But yeah, maybe I'm a bit jealous. So what do we know about her? Well, after doing more research on this video than I did in any high school essay, I discovered that she's a 19 year old Filipino girl who's served in the military before. There is not a lot of detail about this and I'm guessing her fan base couldn't care less about this aspect of her life history, especially because it doesn't have anything to do with her, you know, bobbing her head. I also discovered two major controversies, I, I guess if you can call it that without cringing. The first one involves her calling a military black friend Harambe, which I, I mean, that's an, that's an interesting nickname. I, I might just call my tall Asian friends Jeremy Lin or Yao Ming or something. Haha, <laughs> I'm so edgy and funny. But yeah, basically she called him Harambe on Facebook or something like that. And people who have less of a life than me went digging and accused her of being racist when, yeah, it was just her friend. So, I mean, that's, that's just something you hate to see. People trying to make something out of absolutely nothing. And the other controversy, which is a bit more of a realer situation, is her, actually her rising sun tattoo, which I believe now has gotten covered up. But essentially, if you don't know what the tattoo is, it, it's basically offensive to Koreans and Korean culture because it reminds them of human rights abuse back in the 1870s, to which she apologized for in this super heartfelt, super sincere TikTok video. Honestly, round of applause. Way to go, Bella. Way to make everything better. I can tell you really meant it. And uh, she, you can tell that she meant it because she apologized on Twitter. But since she only has 132,000 followers and not 40 million, yeah, no, nobody cared. To sum up, Bella Porch is a 19-year-old girl who got famous on TikTok for nodding her head to music and looking as pretty as possible. I just have to mini rant here, guys. We really let it happen. We really let a cringe social media app turn normal people into celebrities. Even other stars, quote unquote, Addison Rae, Charlie D'Amelio, they're now famous. Well-known kids. They're all famous. All these kids, you know, under 21, under 22 years old, they're famous. They are household names, well-known to kids. People are looking up to these people. Some adults know who they are. Just because they danced, lip-synced, or moved their head to a song for a few seconds, edited in a video, and, and put it up. Congrats, universe. Y'all win. Rational thinking and the concept of actual fame has been completely lost. Now, I know it sounds like I'm just, you know, an old boomer hating on TikTok, hating on, you know, young people hating on girls for just living on recruit difficulty and just getting paid, getting famous for doing absolutely nothing. But I mean, you gotta admit it's partially true. Come on, it's at least partially true. Even if you're a fan of these people, what have they done? What significant 
impact have they done on your life? Do they deserve to be famous? Like I remember back in the day, I was watching stuff like American Idol or The Voice or something like that. Like these people have actual talent or and if they wouldn't, they would not be there. I'm not here to say Bella Porch has no talent, but if your claim to fame is just moving your head a few seconds to popular songs and dancing and maybe showing more of your body than you probably should be at a young age, is that really how you want to you know be remembered? Is that really how you want to live your life? I guess when you wipe your tears with like $5 bills, I guess it doesn't really matter. I know I'm bashing her a lot for making what I call low quality content, but keep in mind, this is coming from a gaming commentator, okay? All I do is upload gameplay commentaries. Like, yes, there's a lot of editing and work and research into these videos, but at the end of the day, I'm slapping gameplay and my voice onto a a, a track in Premiere Pro. Like, that's it. That's all I'm doing. Like, if anybody's going to complain about low effort, it should be me, okay? I've been doing low effort gaming commentaries for for years now. And the fact that she's blowing up for doing even less than what I'm doing, I mean, that's, that's just, that's just going to upset anyone if you ask me. No, I actually didn't mention the exact reason why I believe she got the most famous, and it's because of one particular TikTok called M to the B, which is where she lip synced off of a song uh, M to the B by Millie B, which, I mean, call me a boomer again if you want, but I've never heard of this. I guess it's a new song. And I guess because she did this, everyone thought that this was a funny or cool idea or that she somehow had talent through this. So that's that's cool. And I guess she sparked uh, a whole line of other influencers to kind of behave in the same way and just kind of imitate this kind of style where you just lip sync over a song, a popular song at the time, and boom, you're instantly famous. Mix that in with a cute girl and boom, you're famous. So my only thing left to say is 19 year old, 20, 21 year old girls who are on TikTok, who are not famous. What are you guys doing guys? Come on, step it up. Any day now, okay? Just keep it up and you could be famous. You could be rich any day now. College, screw it. Grad school, you don't need it. Applying to jobs, just stop. Just get on TikTok and uh, just do some lip syncs, do some dances and boom. You know what? You're probably there. Again, and I don't hate Bella Porsche or anything. I'm just saying, what did we do to social media and what has social media done to us? But anyway, that's going to do it for the video. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I mean, if you're, you're still here, why wouldn't you subscribe, you know? Also, be sure to consider following me on Twitch and Twitter. I do stream pretty much every Thursday night. Uh, links are going to be in the description down below. And make sure to follow me on Twitter, okay? Always, always there for a laugh. I know this video is a little bit more on the different side. I am still experimenting with the channel. So, you know, let me know if you like it. Leave a like, uh, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think about Bella Porch. Have you heard about her before? Have you not? I don't know. It's hopefully not. But yeah, I look forward to having conversations with you down below in the comment section. I will catch you guys on the flippity flip. Peace out.